When my grandmother was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, her doctor told her that she needed to eat healthier. My grandmother took his advice and was excited to tell me about her new eating regimen. She stated that she was completely cutting soda out of her diet and from now on she would only be drinking fruit juice and chocolate milk. This made me think, with almost 5,000 people diagnosed with type 2 diabetes per day in America, why do 95% of those people go without diabetes education? According to the National Institute of Health, a study showed that individuals who participated in a diabetes education program reduced their average fasting blood glucose by 27.5 milligrams per deciliter, compared to only a 2.8 milligram per deciliter reduction for individuals who did not receive the guidance. So what gives? I personally say blame the system. No, really. Diabetes educators across the country express their frustration with having their hands tied and having to continually prove their value. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic disease that can lead to a long list of health complications, including death. Imagine two scenarios. In one scenario, you find yourself lost in the Amazon rainforest. You have no idea how you got there, you have no cell service, and no clue how to get back to civilization. With persistence, painful lessons, and some luck, you may find your way out, but not likely. Now imagine you planned your trip to the Amazon rainforest, you packed the right supplies, you have a map, and a tour guide. Sadly, according to the Center of Medicare and Medicaid, 95% of our loved ones experience scenario one when they are newly diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. We are king fit, and we plan to change that.